What's up YouTube, this is Raging Crow and welcome to the last video I made for this series where we are talking about the main problems of Metro Royale. Hit that subscribe button and let's get to it. In today's video, we'll go over the cheaters, recap the previous two parts, and talk about how we could improve Metro Royale. I'll try to make this video as short as possible, so I won't show certain cheater clips in today's video that I would comment on. I delete almost all cheater clips anyways, as they just take up unnecessary disk space. Cheaters are the biggest and most widespread problem of Metro. There isn't a player who hasn't encountered one, at least once a day. X-ray, shooting through walls, increased weapon damage, shooting grenades without reloading, headshots only, and so on, the hacks are overwhelmingly numerous. A lot of us lost a lot of stuff we've been working on for days, a lot of us lost the desire to play Metro, and some of us even lost our cell phones like I did. Because I broke my iPhone XR in Chapter 6 because of this. I lost around 30 LVL6 items that day because of them. I guess that's one of the reasons why my name is Raging Crow. I rage a lot. At this time I can't say that Tencent doesn't try to solve this problem, because they do. I understand that dealing with so many cheaters is hard and I thank them for their efforts, but these are things that need to be improved or Metro will partially die. I've banned around 100 to 150 hackers in the last chapter. The main problem is that after a cheater gets banned, they can still create a new account and continue to cheat happily. I'm not going to talk about them anymore because we'd be here until tomorrow, I want to talk about a possible solution that would greatly improve Metro. So, if you get killed by a hacker, report him and PUBG sends you a yellow email saying, yes, the player in question used cheats, and got banned for 10 years, then you, would get a gift for successfully reporting the cheater or as we can call it, compensation, for all the items you lost because of him. For example we would get 2 million in Metro cash, or the whole LVL 6 top for each successful report. Because banning a cheater will not give me my expensive stuff back. Therefore, I think compensation in this form would be very important for Metro Royale so we could all love this mod to the fullest again. If we had such rewards for a successful report, we wouldn't have to be so sad in case of losing stuff because at least we would get something back. Next, I want to briefly recap the previous two videos and address your comments and ideas on how to improve Metro Royale. In the first video we went over the glitchers. Glitchers that use various disgusting glitches like the outside map glitch from where they camp the radiation zone, hiding underground from where they shoot grenades and things like that. These people only get minus 10 to minus 20 merit down, a horrible and pointless solution. I think the right thing to do would be to make it mandatory for such glitchers to have their inventories emptied plus merit reduced to zero. Or a ban for one week. I think all of you in the comments agreed with me. As we can see, I'm not the only one who is disappointed about this, people report glitchers and nothing happens. Even Dab commented in one of my videos. And of course I would agree with him completely, because those people are destroying Metro Royale. However, since he obviously referring to my thermal glitch, I can't fully agree and this was my response. Also, I think the Metro is mostly destroyed by Tencent itself. As someone commented here. Which is absolutely correct. The silly stuff is what they can fix instantly, but the glitches that are ruining Metro can't be fixed for months. They don't give a shit. I believe certain glitches may be harder to fix, but I don't believe it couldn't be fixed in 7 chapters. As long as they were able to pull Metro for half a year and give it back to us even more buggy. Another problem we have discussed is Team Killers. It's a big problem, since Team Killers are again not punished. They get a maximum of minus 30 merit, nothing more. Which makes me sick. Like we said in the last video, you lose a week's worth of work because of them, a million in loadout, and they walk away happily basically unpunished. We'll later talk about the fact that 10 out of 10 times it's the Chinese players who kill you in squads. It's very devastating and a lot of people don't want to play Metro anymore because of this problem. So, how do we improve Metro? What needs to change to make us all happy? Cheaters. After a cheater kills us, we will report him, and PUBG will confirm it with a yellow email that says yes, the player used cheats and got banned for 10 years. So we should get a reward for a successful report or therefore a compensation for the lost items to the cheater. For example, 2 million metro cash or LVL6 items, something to compensate for the loss. 
This would be an excellent solution that would help Metro a lot, and people could stop worrying about cheaters who will at the end of the day still be there. Glitchers. Stop the ridiculous solutions. We need every glitcher that kills us to be punished with an inventory emptying, and at least 7 to 30 day ban. They don't need to get banned for life, they just need to be taught that killing from underground or off map is cowardly. Team killers, emptying the inventory, reducing the merit to zero plus banning them from playing squads in Metro for some more time. It's not normal to be unpunished after stealing millions worth of items. Chinese players. Maybe it sounds funny or wrong. I don't mean to hate, but obviously we all know it's true, since a lot of you agreed. 90% of the cheaters we meet are Chinese, team killers too. They are just like that, they don't like fair play. Let's take a look at this screenshot from ban reports which proves the point. The problem is that EU and NAW servers are infested with them and I rarely find an European or American player. It's a huge problem which if it was solved we would all be happier. I would suggest a region lock for them, but I know a few Chinese players from our Discord server who are awesome people and would also suffer because of them, so idk. However PUBG, something needs to be done. It's not normal that we don't find players from around the area on our servers, or encounter all team killers and cheaters. Also, oftentimes they lag and it's a problem to fight them. Maybe if these servers were closed to them and they could only come here via invite from EU or NA players? I really don't know. Some cool ideas from you. I think that this one is a cool idea on how to reduce low loadout players. Finally they would risk something too and stop killing us with two corroded MK47 double nades. Another idea, which of course has to come one day, again an awesome solution to add to the value of the metro and bring fair fights to the map, high tier versus high tier and both sides have something to risk. I'm tired of playing with small players risking at most a blue M416. I would love if this video would get in front of the PUBG leadership and maybe they'd work on it. Anyways, that's all for this video and I really hope you enjoyed this series. In case you did, I'd love it if you'd give me a subscribe, like and comment. It's free and it'll help me out tremendously. Congratulations to the giveaway winners, new giveaways on this channel are running every week. So look forward to more. Thank you for following and take care.